Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Wady G with the G-List Society blog. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the G-Chat where I do phone interviews with our favorite LGBT personalities. And usually I only talk to one person at a time during these G-Chats, but I have two special guests on this call and you know them probably on two different, two very big reasons. One, Sunday night at the Grammys, these these two gentlemen were one of the 30-plus couples that were shown on my television being married during the Macklemore performance. And then also, too, for us, those of us who have been long fans of the DL Chronicles, I am talking with the creators themselves, DeAndre and Quincy Gosfield. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Great. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? I'm well. Just want to say thank you, and congratulations on the big day. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is the first time we've been called publicly, verbally, the Gosfields. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, that, yeah. But before we go, I really want to talk about, of course, DL Chronicles. Um, you know, seen some episodes last year. <laughs> Um, I think the recent ones were, I can't remember, Robert and Mark were the most recent ones I can remember. And so, you know, of course, the fans want to know, will we be getting more DL Chronicles in 2014? Well, the the um, last DL Chronicles film um, of last year was actually episode Thomas. And oh, Thomas. Episode, yeah. Yeah. Thomas was the one that we were able to uh, produce through our Indiegogo campaign. And, yes. uh, you know, I would like to – I know there, there are a lot of fans who are, like, trying to figure out what's going on. We donated money. Uh, what happened with, with uh, the project was we were initially trying to um, crowdsource fund the, the, all the, the whole season. And when we did the first campaign, which was Kickstarter, um, we did not receive the full amount that we needed uh, to meet our goal. So with Kickstarter, if you don't meet your full goal, you get none of the money. So we got none of those. Uh, we got none of those donations that came from the fans from Kickstarter. So we, you know, we took some time down. We reconvened and we launched one on Indiegogo. And then this time, oddly enough. From the, the the people who had donated before, I think were probably just not interested in donating again. So we got half of the donations that we got of the first campaign that still did never still never met its its goal. So we only got half of that. And on Indiegogo, they allow you to keep the uh, the funding. So then, because we now had half of a half of a half. Uh, we were only able to produce episode Thomas. So what we decided to do was to use episode Thomas as a new pilot episode. And we would go, and we would go on the road um, during a screening tour, which we did all last year, to try to reinvigorate the fan base and also get interest from investors and possibly networks again. Um, so it's it's taking a, it's taken much longer than expected to, you know, pretty much get the monies that we need to really get up and going. Um, so we also have an ongoing um, GoFundMe campaign, which is on our Facebook page, so that, you know, people periodically uh, who run across it donate, you know, $100 here, $100 there, and all of that counts. So what we're doing now is uh, in February, our plan is this February, uh, we are going to release the new film, Episode Thomas, um, through a pay-per-view service online. Okay. Um, and that will now allow everyone in the country and outside of the country who was not able to see the film uh, be able to, you know, rent it and watch it for, uh, you know, a nominal fee, a very small fee. And so our goal is to hope to begin to uh, create some source of income from the film that could go towards you know, go, go towards producing the rest of the season. Meanwhile, we are in talks with other investors. We're, you know, we're setting up meetings with networks um, just to make sure that all of our bases are covered. And, you know, it's a lot of work. 
um, in, to independently try to produce a television series if you don't have a network behind you that already has the money. And um, very expensive, like, um, cause like you said, raising the, I mean, not, and as you see, a lot of people are now going to these crowdfunding sources because there is so much money that needs to be um, raised raised to fund for some people one episode, let alone you're doing a season. So yeah. I really <laughs> applaud you guys. I mean, cause you know, we, I mean, we've been following you guys for years and I know every time a new episode is posted, it goes viral. Um, and so, you know, we'll be definitely looking out for Thomas and please let me know when that comes out so I can make sure I let my readers know and, um, they'll be excited to come and support. Um, definitely yeah, check out yeah. the DL Chronicles uh, Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, facebook.com forward slash the DL Chronicles, and uh, we'll keep everyone updated um, as to how they can participate if they would like to help us keep this project moving. And also, you know, we will also announce there and also on our Twitter page um, the release of episode Thomas. Perfect. Yeah, I know people have been waiting because we keep making an announcement. I should I should let the fans know why this this postponement is happening is because there's a uh, certain legal things that you have to do with the actors union that have right. to be squared away before you can do any kind of public release. So we're just getting that stuff squared away. It's getting really close to being done, and once that's done, we will launch it on Vimeo uh, and announce it on our Facebook page and let everybody know how they can go and watch it. 